YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, just got something brand new in the mail from Rivet and Hyde. It's a new jacket from 10C. It is the 10C short field jacket. So let's get right into it. <music> So 10C is one of those companies you've probably heard about or read about, but never really looked into, at least for me that is. I always see them online, but never have thought to go try anything on or never really wanted to, to go and buy any of their items. And I don't know why. I've Just from researching for this video, I can see the amount of detail they go into. And I think that's their whole ethos is the details around the fabrics and the fabrics are really where they excel. They're really known for this fabric called the OJJ, which is the original Japanese jersey. Now they call that the polyester interlock jersey fabric, yeah, if I wanna get scientifically technical. And they say it's really unique. So when it's dry, it stiffens up and hardens, but when it's humid and, and moist, it softens up. And they also say it molds to your body over time. It's a real technical type fabric. Now the OJJ just isn't a fabric that changes its characteristics based on the temperature. It's a, it's a fabric that actually looks and feels uh, incredible. Like, look at this jacket. It's got a really lovely soft sheen to it. The details are everywhere. I mean, where do we start? The zippers are just buttery smooth. The snaps are impeccable. If we go into, look, even the coat hanger has a fabric wrap on it. Just shows you the detail they go to. If we take a look at the inside, you'll see all of this information they have around the fabric. They have some information here about exactly what OJJ is, what the type of fabric it is, the type of item it is. It's a short field jacket. Now looking at all the pockets, we have ample storage. You have two chest pockets on the top here on your breast. You have two uh, patch pockets, I like to call them, all with snaps on the sides here, ample room. If you open it up, we also have an internal chest pocket on the left hand side. Loads of room for your phone and wallet, that kind of stuff. You have your snaps on your cuffs as well to cuff that up. You can adjust the sizing of the cuffs as well, which is really handy. And like, what I'll say, this material, it feels, it almost feels like suede. Honestly, it's so soft and smooth. But this is a lovely, lovely jacket. If we take it off and have a look on the outside, you have your hidden storm hood as well there with another beautiful zip as well. If we look at the side, it has some vents here as well to help with breathability. They, these are just underneath the arms. But overall, it's got everything you would imagine on a military style jacket. They try to keep really true to the original uh, jackets. But as I said at the beginning, the real hero here is this uh, type of fabric. It is buttery soft, it is water repellent, uh, and it, it changes the characteristics with, <laughs> with how and where you wear it. And what more can you ask for? You really have to, I would say, try this or feel this to really understand what I'm talking about. I know I can bang on about fabrics all day, but honestly, I've never really felt anything like it. I, I haven't. It's not. It's not like Gore-Tex. It's not like. It's not like anything. It's. It's really, really unique. And I guess that's what 10C try to focus on. 10C love to dye the fabrics, but then they also like to dye the garment just to make it really, really unique. They don't like getting fabrics from Korea or China who focus on mass production. They like to keep it to Japan, which is focused on smaller factories and real uniqueness as well. You have to remember what kind of jacket we're dealing with here. This is a field jacket. It's made for technical work out in the field. Now, the unique thing about this fabric is it's so technical, but it's so light. It's a really light jacket. It's only nine ounces. So you can see out when you're wearing this in the field, uh, you won't really notice you're wearing it, to be honest. Now it is a slim fit and as I said, it is the short field jacket. So when I say short field jacket, it's a bit shorter. It sits just below my belt. I think the original 1965 field jackets were a bit longer. Uh, so they've made this a bit more modern and brought it up a bit, which I think is great. And I think the fit is really good. Now, if we're talking about sizing, but this is, yeah, a 48 in 10 C uh, and it, I think it comes out perfectly. I always like to look at my, you know, the wrists and the cuffs and where it sits and it fits perfectly. If I do it up and see where it sits, it's uh, it's quite good. There's enough room to lay underneath if I wanted to put a pullover or a sweater underneath. Right, so how about availability? Where can you get these from? And as I said at the beginning, Rivet and Hide, they have full stock of these, and I really would recommend going into the store and trying it on. Now, they have a store in London, central London, and also have a store 
in Manchester where you can go and try it on. The guys there, like I say in every video, the guys are just incredible. They're amazing. I would go in and have a chat to them anyway. Uh, try and arrange things if you wanted to. Um, and yeah, the guys are just awesome. So I would highly recommend going in and feeling this fabric for yourself because like I said at the beginning, this is the hero of 10C. Uh, this OJJ fabric. Uh, if you can't go into store, uh, they have free delivery, free returns as well. So uh, order it, order it online and, and try, um, and you won't be disappointed to be honest. Right, so let's talk pricing. And this jacket isn't cheap uh, by any means. This comes in at 995 pounds, but you have to think about what you're getting for that money. You're getting a, a, a jacket from a brand that puts things together in such a meticulous way that you, know, you can't get it from any other brand. They have all their fabrics come from Japan. It's cut in Japan from small little factories and sent to Italy where it's dyed twice. It's, it's fabric dyed, it's garment dyed, and it's put together by ateliers in Italy. So it's being made over two countries by experts in small little factories. And then you're getting OJJ, which is this fabric you can't get anywhere else. It's a technical fabric. It's not just a fabric that is breathable. It's a fabric that changes to the environment around you. So uh, you know, it's 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 got multiple uses and it's something you can't get anywhere else. Not to mention it feels incredible. Like I'm talking suede, but it's not suede. It's 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 something else. You really have to try it. Now, it is a lot of money, 995 pounds, but this jacket probably will last you a while. It's very light, it's nine ounces, so it, it can be used for multiple reasons. You can wear it to the office. You can go on a hike up a mountain. You can wear layer in it. It's got loads of pockets. So yeah, I think there is a place for it on the uh, on the pedestal. Now it's not gonna be for everyone, but you have to admire what 10C are doing. And I think they're doing a f fantastic job. I certainly will be looking out for more 10C stuff and I'm looking forward to trying on some of this stuff. Now, have you seen any more 10C stuff that I haven't? I'd love to know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you're new around here and just stumbled across this, go back and have a look at all my other videos because I do a lot of this stuff. And if you are new, hit the red subscribe button because the more subscribers I get, it, it just helps this channel grow and I really want to make it grow and bring more stuff like this to you guys in the future. And with all that being said, guys, I really did hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day and we will see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,